Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You may know me as the Grimm's List or the Grim Reaper. Anyways, today I'm going to be talking about a zoo file. Just the background, basically, Raven Haley's was the original zoo file that I was calling out. This person would justify making love with animals, kids, and even dead corpse. So pretty much you can get the idea of what kind of person this person was. The good news is that this account was eventually suspended because I kept calling this person out and many other people had reported this person. However, there are still more accounts that are getting away with this and who have gotten away with it. Unfortunately, I've even been blocked by a few of them. I have been calling them out. But not as much lately because I haven't felt a need to right now for the time being. So lately I was just chilling in my Twitter feeds and just looking around to see what next drama there is. Which is sometimes hard to get into drama when there's nothing too much good going on. So then you're just trying to look around and see if there's anything to start drama with. So a friend of mine on Twitter quote tweeted me. I've seen plenty of people on Twitter that I think are really blanking dumb. Chensi Panty is one of these people. I think Grimm's List can agree with me on this. Why do I say this? Because this person believe that if you go from broke to rich, you should be bullied good message. And of course, Chancy Panties got mad and responded afterwards. Before I show the response, I want to give a little bit of a background. Chancy Panties was known to defend the zoo file, well, because this person has justified to being basically a zoo file. Now, I don't know for sure whether they did mate with animals or not. But all I can say is this person has justified mating with animals, which is a cruel thing to do, which is still a form of animal abuse, in my opinion. Now, according to Chancy Panty, this person is against the P word, however, not against the zoophile idea, which either way, it's not really a good look. So, of course, I made a joke at one certain point. I couldn't find the actual message I sent that I made a joke about it and it aggravated Chancy Panties. I told him that he deserves to get bullied and this aggravated him to basically saying that the rich deserves to get bullied. And yes, I'm not lying even if I wanted to. It's incredibly stupid how this person is. However, there's not much I can do about this person. I've tried everything to call this person out, hoping that Twitter would do something about this person. But they haven't done anything about this person. Now, the main reason I'm calling this person out over and over is not because about him complaining about billionaires making more money than people who don't make enough money for a living. It's about calling him out for being a zoophile, for defending the idea of basically hurting animals in the way for basically having sex. In other words, no life. That really sounds ironic coming from you. You are harassing people online for fun. I logged into Twitter once this month. You have no life loser. You literally defend Zufal Lemio. Now you complain about getting bullied. No one should be bullied except the rich. You deserve to get bullied all day. I will be honest, I wasn't able to find the thread that I basically said at first. However, I have some thread of the Zufal defending being a Zufal. Animals consent to interspecies all the time. How do we get wolfen, ligger, zorses, zonkeys? Sure, reproduction can occur unconsensually, but not every case is a violent act. Consent between species does occur naturally. Now, for those who have lost brain cells or anything like that, I apologize and my condolence. 
But honestly, this person needs to be called out and continuously called out for the crappy behavior they're doing and continuing to do so. Animals can consent. That's just facts. I hate anyone who actually abuses animals and there are many in the zoo community. But that doesn't change the fact that animals can express consent. Just the fact that this person is justifying mating with animals is disgusting to my opinion. And I don't even know where he's getting all this information from. But this is really, really disgusting and unhinged. Now, I will say that I will make sure to keep my animals away from this person. Because obviously I would never want to meet this person in person. Because this person is obviously definitely needs help and medical help real quick. Now that I explained myself thoroughly on the story on why I said what I said, I will be showing you the thread that actually happened just a day or two ago. I don't think anyone needs bullied, but the mega wealthy need to have their wealth striped from them that's not bullying no one earns a billion dollar ethically no one can spend a billion dollars in any meaningful capacity no one needs more than 10 million in a lifetime not only is the argument stupid but the idea of this person continuing to start the drama by basically defending the idea of a zoo file is incredibly insane and then they basically say that people can't be rich they shouldn't be rich blah 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 now the increasing amount of wealth and thing like that it can be more debatable however i am also gonna state that this whole argument is stupid because of how this person has been defending zoo file this whole way through and obviously, if someone deserves that money, it shouldn't be this kind of person that basically abuses money like that to basically mate with animals in that way, which is very wrong. And not just wrong, morally wrong, and it's not justified at all. You can be set to prison for life at this point. What kind of logic is having sex with an animal a logical thing? People are animals. Animals of different species commonly attempt to breed with other animals. There is nothing illogical about a desire to breed. As people, we should do our best, however, to not blank, which is actually a common practice among animals. We punish for that and should. The whole problem with this is that they're justifying mating with animals but they're saying that if it's done in a way where basically the animal isn't sexually active, then it's not okay. But either way, it's not okay. It's not the same thing as we are. We have a more of a conscience mindset. We know better. Animals don't possess that same ability as us humans. They do have an intelligent mind, but that doesn't mean to go and take advantage of it. And to be real, I don't really think I see a cat and a dog mating with each other because that's very weird if you would see something like that, which wouldn't be normal, which our job is to tell the animal not to do so or keep them away from each other. Humans have the ability to lead animals, not mate with them. Lead them, not mate. And I got to be clear with that because obviously this person believes that you can, which is very wrong. And I got to be honest, if you got to use that excuse, well, we're animals too, you're pathetic. Because they're animals, different kind of animal than we are. Of course, you can use that excuse that we're animals, but mating with them is not an excuse. Honestly, this person needs to go behind bars if they can't figure out that animals shouldn't be mating with humans because obviously this doesn't take the Albert Einstein to figure this out. Heck, even children can figure that out. Not to mention, this is just not something anyone should be thinking it's okay because I don't know where this guy is researching his stuff, but wherever he's researching is not a good place to search because obviously this person 
I don't even know what's wrong with that person. It's so bad that I'm running out of words because how disgusting this is. I can't even believe this is an argument I have to basically debate with this person. I shouldn't even have to debate. This should already be known to be wrong. Anyways, if you love the video, like, subscribe for more, and if you don't, this will be your new alarm clock. I'm going to blackball you. You're fucked. Love y'all and peace out.